Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to install John the Whip Bit. If you don't know what John the Whip is, it is used to unhash um hashed passwords or um hashed words. So first thing you want to do is go to openwall.com slash John. And then you get a website that looks something like this. First, and do not click on don't use these right here. These are just ads. You go to download one of the latest official free versions, not the pro. The pro one version costs real money. You click on you click on the one that says John the Whip at 1.7.9, and then here we go. We're gonna do save as. My computer's being a little slow right now. <coughs> there we go. We're going to save it to your. De make sure that you save it to your desktop. Click save, and then there, it's saved now to your desktop. Next, don't worry about this folder right here. It's just going to go away in a second. Then we're going to click on it once, and then right click, don't open it. Right click, extract all. And then we're going to want to get rid of this last part right here. John. 179w2 get rid of that so that it just so it extracts your desktop and then let it finish loading and then there you can close that out and throw away the zipped folder this might take a minute because okay and now we have this folder once, what you want to do here is rename it, so click on it once, right click, go down to rename, and type in John. After that, open up your file explorer. No, don't do that. Just bring this over here, so that when you're ready, you can drag it into here. And then you're going to go down to your C drive. I have, I'm on an Acer computer, so that's why it says Acer, and then in parentheses, C colon. Just make sure that you have the C colon. It doesn't matter what this is. C colon is the A, the, not A drive, C drive. And then what you're going to want to do is drag this in here. Now you have this folder. So, after you've dragged it in, um, double click to open it, and then double click run. And then you're going to see, John, you're going to see all of these folders, and you're going to see all of these .exe, um, applications. We're not, these are, in, is not, this is not the actual program. Normally it is, but not, it's not this time. So, after you've done that, just minimize it, go down to here, here, thing that says ask me anything, and you can type in command, and then we're looking for the command bomb. You can type in command or cmd, they're both living up command pump. And then you can, you need to copy this. But you cannot just copy it. it the, there's no copy button right here. So which you, you and you can't pin it to start or the task and then copy it. You're going to have to open file location. Now we're not actually getting rid of this. We're just going to copy it. <coughs> and now it's copied. Now just close that out. Go here. Right, 
click paste and then there's the command prompt but what we're going to do this you can actually I'm gonna go ahead and leave it as command prompt you can change it if you want to and now the next thing that we're gonna do is go to we're gonna right click on the side right here go down to new folder so we're gonna have a new folder oh no no not a folder not a folder we're going to go down to new text document and you're going to want to rename this hash okay so now you have that now what you want to do is you need to make sure that this is working to do that we're going to go ahead back to where i'm just going to close this out so we don't need to do anything else at this website here we're going to go here I will leave the links to both of these places in the description and if I remember I'll go ahead and put this one on the side right here so for username you can type in whatever you want password you can also type in whatever you want so I have just put in test these are not my this is not my real password click click create so now you see two right here this right here would be your hashed or encrypted password just go ahead copy that you can go ahead minimize that now you're going to want to have your hash.txt folder file um text document and then you're gonna paste that in there. I use Control C to copy and Control V to paste. Just click save. If you want to, you can also do Control S to save. So now that we've say put this in here and saved it, this right here says test. It's just encrypted in MP5. So now when you open this you're going to get this right here now yours might be different I don't know why mine is starting in C uses high and then it's I don't know why mine is starting in the user spot it should be starting it should be saying this CD stands for change directory you're gonna do C colon slash now let me just don't do this i'm just going to show you what it should say it's still going to work if you're the same as me and i am also doing this on a windows 10 computer so yours might be different and then i'm going to go to my c drive cd john cd run cls clears the screen so this is what it should say Right here. When once I open the command prompt, it should say that. So if yours says that, that's good. If yours doesn't, you're going to need to do cd c colon slash, and then you're going to need to do cd john cd run. Or you can just do it the easy way. cd c colon slash john slash one that's an easier way to do it so w once we're here i'm not going to there's a whole bunch of commands that you can do for this one there's a whole bunch of different commands that you can do i'm just going to type okay oh there we go i don't know why it took so long so remember here i was i was telling you that it can that what i hashed mine into hashed mine with was mp5 and then you see md5 then you see it here these are all 
there's DES, BSDI, MD5, BF, AFS, LM, TRIP, and DUMMY. Those are all the different kinds of hashes that you can do. So now, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do this. How to figure it out. So, it is pretty easy unless you're using all these different commands. So all you need to do is type John space hash or dot hash dot txt or whatever you named this folder right here. Minimize that. Now all we need to do is hit enter. And then you see right here, loaded one password hash. Now this isn't always going It'll always say password hash, but you don't just use this for unhashing passwords. So, and there's another thing, don't, like, go to websites and try to find the password hashes, because that is hacking. So don't do that. So that's how you do it. I might be doing another video on all of these different things right here all of these so that is all for right now all you need to do to start it to do another one is cls clears it i just like to do that every time to help to keep it clean and then you're gonna delete the john dot pot right here delete that and then all you need to do find your hash.txt get rid of that and put a new one I'm just going to go ahead and close this out and try to only use five letters or less because over five letters will take a long time so that's all for right now um, please like and subscribe because I'm going to be doing a giveaway at 50 subscribers. So make sure you like and subscribe. Bye!